Hey guys, it's Dakota Lewis. Today is January 2nd, 2017, and I just wanted to wish everyone a Happy New Year. Um, I thought in this video I would update you guys with a couple things, um, as well as go through what I did for New Year's. Um, I actually attended a um, party at Axis, which is a club here uh, in downtown Columbus, where they were hosting the cast of Pulse Nightclub, which was the um, club that uh, was victim to the shooting um, back in, I think it was June 12th, so about six months ago. Um, we hosted them uh, back in, I think it was the summer, and they came back as popular by popular demand, and it was just an incredible show. Um, I've, I've been going to Axis since my freshman year here when I was 18, so it's been about uh, three, going on four years now. And by far, it's the best show I've ever seen in Axis. Um, worth every penny I spent. Uh, I, I honestly couldn't describe it if I tried, so I'm going to drop the video in here.
Hey, Queen. Hey. Queenie. <laughs> <laughs> bye, bye, bye. <laughs> Would you get away from it? Would you? You need to knock it off. Go to bed. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> She did it. Alright, now go to bed. Yeah. What was just so incredible about being in that building, in that space, um, was realizing the, the importance. What happened was historic, and I, a part of me knew that when I was, when I was attending, um, knowing that after the tragedy we've all experienced as like a queer community, as a LGBT community, <clears throat> community depending on the verbature you choose to use. We've suffered, and this isn't the first year we've suffered. We've suffered for many years. I actually, uh, I took a class this last semester about the um, history of the LGBT movement from the end of World War II to now, and we studied all about um, things like the Stonewall Riots and the Compton Riots that actually came before the Stonewall Riots, um, all the way through to the, the AIDS crisis in the 80s. Um, and when you, when you study suffering like that, and you, you see how generations before us have, have struggled to survive and just live freely and you compare it to now that we're living in a nation that we have marriage equality for forever how long and we have the ability to be out and free in my everyday life i've been able to live freely as a trans man for over what three years now and as a queer person from the time i was 12. i mean i that's that's unheard of when you when you look at back through history and so I, I knew when I was looking at this cast upon the stage that this is this is so so historic, and to see the smiles on the cast faces, knowing that they've gone through what they they have and they're continuing to to push through it in a way that is very um, healing, and and we're, we're moving on and there's hope for the future. Um, at the end of the video there, you can see my, my baby hamster. Her name is Isabella, Queen Isabella. Um, we got her a couple days ago as our other ham died right before the New Year. So that was our New Year's baby. There was a moment I saw on the stage uh, where two of the queens, I, I'll have to go back and look through and look for their names. Um, they were embracing each other. And you could just see, you could see the emotions kind of going over the cast's faces as we... Uh, right after midnight, where we all kind of felt it, um, and it was just, it, it yeah. you, you see, you can see it in the video, um, it just kind of, like, broke my heart, um, I can't imagine the loss that they've gone through, um, but for them to come experience and celebrate New Year's and a new year of, of hoping, new year of dreams, um, it was incredibly important to me, and by far my, my greatest New Year's I've ever had. It was actually my first New Year's kiss. Um, 
it's taken me 21 years. Um, but I finally got to kiss the love of my life at midnight. And I, I cried. We all celebrated. And it was a beautiful moment. So, um, yeah, when I got up the next morning, I, I was still kind of feeling it. Um, kind of musing over last night or the night before. I started doing some Googling. And I came across a podcast that I believe Nina West held back when um, the Pulse cast was here um, a few months back. And it was only like six weeks out of the shooting, and it was a very intimate, um, powerful podcast um, of Nina interviewing the, the cast of Pulse. I'm going to link that below. I recommend you guys check it out. Um, it's well worth the hour listen. And I also found a documentary uh, that was put on by some, um, I think it was a news channel, that they compiled all of the, the news media that came after the, the attack. Um, and after watching both of those for about two hours, I mourned, and I felt hope for the future, and I asked myself, you know, how do we, how do we move on? And especially in the podcast, the podcast, um, they actually do talk about, you know, how can we all move on from such a tragedy? And just by continuing to do what we've been doing, celebrating our lives and embracing our our difference, um, so that it can't be used as an attack against us. Um, so I don't really have uh, a point to what I'm saying. I'm not trying to get any overall idea across. I just thought I'd share some of my thoughts with you um, about my New Year's. Um, some of my thoughts on entering into the new year. Um, I hope 2017 has a lot to offer. If anything, I, there, there's one promise I'd like to make for the upcoming 2017, and it's that I will not be silent. We cannot be silent. We have to fight for our rights, our visibility, our right to love, live, and find happiness. We have we have a lot. We have an uphill battle that we're facing. But it doesn't mean we have to give up. We have to rise to the challenge. And if, if I've learned anything from 2016, is that we have to persevere. I mean, we can't. We can't let. <laughs> we can't let our obstacles get us down. And so, uh, I hope. I hope that I'm not the only one who's taking this promise. I hope you'll take it with me. Uh, try to make this year a little bit brighter than 2016. I, I think we can all really use that. Um, so, uh, thanks for watching. I hope to be posting some more, uh, some more videos this year. I, I kind of slacked off in the last year. Um, so keep an eye out for those, and I will, uh, talk to you guys later.